On Tuesday, the Obama administration unveiled a strategy intended to stop beehive colony collapse in the United States. Bees pollinate much of the agricultural food we eat, but 40% of commercial honeybee colonies died off last winter, putting our food supply at risk. The White House's plan, to be carried out by the USDA and EPA, includes devoting 7 million acres of federal land to pollinator habitat, reducing annual honeybee deaths to 15% by 2025, and returning monarch butterfly numbers from 30 million to 220 million in five years. The plan also calls for more studies of the class of pesticides known as neonicotinoids, which kill pests but might also weaken bee immune systems. Weaker bees are more easily killed by invasive varroa destructor mites and poor nutrition from monocultural farming practices. Critics of the plan say it focuses too narrowly on commercial honeybees out of 4,000 bee species in North America and that there is no specific action plan to increase butterfly numbers. Finally, some insist neonic pesticides should be banned immediately, though Australia, which is free of varroa mites, uses neonics yet has avoided colony collapse.